Wait a minute. I'm coming. Whoa, have mercy on my precious ears. Why are you screaming? Oh, fuck. Sorry, I forgot to wear a shirt. Wait a second. Hey, so, how are you and who are you? Mrs. Altman? Who is that? Look, I have no fucking idea who Mrs. Altman is, but are those cookies in your hands? No, she doesn't. I live here now. I'm your new neighbor. Hey. What? Stop smiling. Why? You know, most people would die for this look of mine. Shirtless and smirking, but whatever. You're a loss. I'm an asshole? Then how come you're blushing? Yes, you are. I am an asshole, but I'm a pretty smart asshole. Charming, too. And this asshole's got eyes. Yours cheeks have turned red. We could use them as fucking traffic lights. What's my problem? What's your problem? I am literally the most unproblematic person on this earth. And the first thing you do when you meet me is try to pick a fight. Unless... People like you do this, right? They act all rude and mean with the guys they find attractive. Now I see what's happening here. Of course you couldn't just resist how good looking I am. So to make it easier, instead of seeking me, you're trying to make me an enemy. So, you find me attractive, huh? Hey, stop hitting me! People are gonna get mad at you for ruining my pretty face! I am unbelievable? Yes. Yes, I am. Unbelievably hot. Aw, leaving so soon. Don't you want to get more acquainted with your new hot, smart, charming-as-fuck neighbor? Hey, but this asshole's got a name, you know. It's Caleb. That's a pretty name. Try not to think of me all day. See ya. Hey, <laughs> it's me. You don't seem too happy to see me. Anyways, um, I'm out of milk and I really need some coffee right now. So, could I borrow some milk from you? Because I'm lazy, okay? It's 8 in the morning. There's no way I'm going out to get milk when I'm this sleepy. Plus, I've got such a nice, sweet, and helpful neighbor. Why would I go out when I can just get it from you? What am I doing? I'm putting my foot in between so you can't close the door. Now, you gonna let me in like a good person? Who said I can come in? Well, I did. Whoa. What are you doing, exactly? Are those books? Wow. I haven't seen those in years. Seriously, how do you even look at those things without falling asleep? What the fuck? You got like a bunch of these. How much does one weigh? We could use some of these as gym equipment instead. <laughs> okay, so by the look you're giving me, I should probably leave as fast as I can. Just give me the milk and I'll be going. Actually, could I also borrow some coffee? And... Chick or two. Fine, fine, don't yell at me. I forgot to go grocery shopping, okay? Could you just make me some coffee here instead? Please? I'll make it up to you. How? I don't know. You tell me. What do you want? Answer your questions? That's weird, but okay. What do you want now? Why am I out all night? Um, I... I have night shifts at this company. That's why I'm out all night. Because of work. Uh, it's not popular yet. Just a small startup company. And the investors are from a foreign country, so they have meetings sometimes. That's why we have to work night shifts as well. My car? It's not that expensive. It's just a normal car. 
Anyone could have bought it. <laughs> Wait, you know the name of that model? How? That car is a one of a kind. Only 29 of them were ever made. A 1955 Schwartz Dry CLS. Going Doors 2995cc single overhead craftsmanship. Fuck. You find a way to get through to me. Why do you keep asking me these questions? Why do you care if my car is expensive or not? Why do you want to know what I do when I'm out all night? Wait, how do you know I was out all night? Are you, like, a stalker? I'm just curious. <laughs> Sounds like stalking to me. By the way, you didn't answer my question. How do you know the name of the model? Holy fuck! You're studying to become a mechanical engineer? Damn, that's... interesting. That explains all those thick bunch of books on your dining table. So, you live here alone, all by yourself? Don't you get lonely? I know I live alone too, but I've got my reasons. What are yours? Oh, thanks. So, you were saying... Oh, wow. You've got your whole life planned on a map, huh? Living away from home to go to college, doing jobs even though your parents are rich, preparing for your master's in another country. Does it even go according to plan? So far it has? <laughs> That's nice. Let's see if it still goes the same way. <laughs> now that I'm here. Shut up. Don't get all worked up now. I was just kidding. My parents? What about them? I don't have any parents. Uh, no. <laughs> I used to live in foster homes. They kept hoping to find a family that would adopt me, but... By the time I was 18, I already found four foster homes. All of which didn't really give a fuck about me. Nah, don't be sorry. I don't really care anymore. I'm just happy I'm free now. Free to do whatever I want, whoever I want to meet, wherever I want to go. Tonight? No, I won't be home. Why? A potluck? With the neighbors? You really think I would be willing to come to one of those? You don't know anything about me, do you? I'm not being mean. I just have a raise. A meeting! I have a meeting at 2am with one of my investors. So, no. I can't come for the potluck. I wouldn't have come even if I wasn't busy. Way too cringy for me. Calm down, Foxy. I'm not obligated to do any of that, okay? I pay my rent. I've done my part as a resident of this building. By the way, thanks for the coffee. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll leave now. Yeah? What is it? Tone it down a little? What do you mean? Oh, uh, last night. You heard that. <laughs> I'm not surprised. We didn't even try to be quiet. I can't help you with that, Foxy. You're just going to have to get used to it. And you're correct. That wasn't my girlfriend. Just some random girl who wanted to have some fun. I know. I'm a jerk. But that doesn't stop the guys and girls from drawing towards me. So guess who wins in the end? <laughs> That's right. Have fun to your potluck, Foxy. Don't miss me too much.